Hi, I'm Dr. Ron Miller of Pursuit Physiotherapy, and I'm going to show you three ways to kind of figure out whether you have thoracic outlet or not. So the first way is if you're sitting and you rest your shoulder up on like a chair arm or even like a bed or even a table, if, if your arm is rested up and it's relaxed here and you report a decrease in symptoms, that's a good sign that you may have some, some sort of thoracic outlet syndrome going on. Normally it's probably pinching right here, okay? So this is a relief technique that a lot of people say that whenever my arm's up and it's resting, I have a decrease in symptoms, okay? A second way is if, like a lot of people will say, when they're laying down in bed and their arm is above their head, they have a relief of symptoms. Now there are some other causes of this, but if you have a true case of thoracic outlet, a lot of times when your arm is relaxed and it's above your head, you'll report a decrease in symptoms. Um, that's another way to know whether you have thoracic outlet. The final way is if you're doing like a row or you're squeezing your shoulder blades back and you have an increase in pain either right here or shooting pain or numbness and tingling going down, going down your arm, that could be a sign that you have thoracic outlet. A lot of times people will say, well, doing rows or scap squeezes or tightening up their shoulder blades sitting upright causes an increase in symptoms. So that's a third way that you could tell whether you have possible thoracic outlet. So if you're struggling with it, if you try treatments and nothing's working, um, give us a call today. We'll get you in for a thorough assessment. We'll solve the root cause of why you have thoracic outlet and we'll go over the best way to, do, to treat thoracic outlet. Um, you can give us a call or a text today at 407-494-8835 or visit the website at PursuitTherapy.com. Thanks.